Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and today we are talking about Stephen King. So every year I do a kind of Halloween video but not like your typical Halloween video like I don't want to make costumes or makeups or anything. I just think I just think that's a bit overdone. So I try to come up with different things and I've been doing like a lot of top five, top ten on my Halloween videos and this year I come with the top five best uh, Stephen King books. I've been like reading a lot, a lot, a lot and since March, which was the month that I read E, I just discovered my love for Stephen King and his books. So since March I haven't been reading anything besides Stephen King books and I'm currently reading another one but I'm actually loving it but it's not in my top because I haven't finished yet, so yeah, but these are the best Stephen King books that I've read so far and I haven't read that many because he has like a lot, a lot of books, so yeah, I might do another one in the future when I read more, uh, if you like that let me know, but yeah, let's jump into my top five. In fifth place I have Pet Cemetery. This is like a classic one, this is considered by a lot of people the best Stephen King book or his scariest book. It is the scariest book for Stephen King. Uh, in Stephen King's opinion this is his scariest book because it deals with something really really personal. In this book he has like an author's note right in the beginning and it explains everything about the how he came up with the story and basically everything besides the supernatural stuff in the book actually happened, kind of, and that is really interesting. However, it is just in fifth place because, like I said, he explained basically everything in his author's note and I wasn't surprised by almost anything because I already knew what's coming and but yeah like any other Stephen King book it has like a really good pacing and good character development and yeah and if you don't know what the book is about it is about a uh, pet cemetery and it's basically about a family that moves into a house and they have a pet cemetery nearby. But on the other side of the pet cemetery there's something else and yeah, I'm not going to say much. I think almost everyone knows what this book is about and there's actually a movie, there's going to be a remake and yeah, if you don't want to read the book you can watch the movie, it's pretty accurate and I'm actually really excited for the remake. In fourth place, I have Misery. Misery is one of those books that doesn't have anything supernatural uh, and I quite enjoy that. Uh, it isn't like scary with ghosts or anything, but it's like it left me really anxious about what's going on because it's about a writer that has an accident and then he's basically kidnapped by his biggest fan and she does awful things to him so he won't leave and there's all that stuff that he's trying to leave and we are like really anxious we are like really anxious thinking is he going to make it? is it not? what's going to happen? is she going to like freak out and just turn on her mad side or something and yeah it, the whole book is 
is set on a bedroom and it looks like a really simple story but it's really good. It also has a movie which stars Katy Bates which I love and the movie is accurate, it could have like some of the gross parts that are in the book, those gross parts aren't in the movie. I wish they would because those were the parts that I loved about the book, but yeah. It's a great book and it's kind of small so you can read it like pretty fast. And I actually recommend you read it fast because I took way too long reading the last part and it kind of ruined it a little bit for me because the suspense didn't build up that well but so yeah I recommend you read it and read it kind of fast. In third place we have Doctor Sleep. Doctor Sleep is the sequel to The Shining. It was published like a lot uh, of years after The Shining but it's an amazing sequel. It isn't like ghosty like scary like The Shining but it is amazing, I love Dan in this, uh, or Danny if you know The Shining. I love Dan, I just fell in love with all these characters and yeah, this just follows uh, Dan, the son of Jack and Wendy and follows him like after 40 years or something when when he's 40 or 50 or something like that and just yeah it's kind of a mystery thriller type of thing not much like not much horror but it's so so good I fell in love with all these characters I love them uh, this is also going to be a movie I think it's going to come out next year and Ewan McGregor is going to play old Danny Torrance and I just can't wait because I think he's going to be amazing and I'm really really stoked for the movie and I highly recommend this book like this is so good in second place we have The Shining The Shining is a classic it's the first uh, book from this two books. It is the first part of Doctor Sleep. Um, you, you don't want to read Doctor Sleep without reading The Shining first. I mean you can but you shouldn't and I, I just need to say this. Don't even think that the movie is anything like the book. Like no. You you can't watch the movie and then read Doctor Sleep. No, it doesn't work. The movie, I, I don't know how people think it is a masterpiece because it's rubbish. I hate the movie. The book is so, so much better and I'm one of those people that love reading the book and then watch the movie, see things come to life. But I was so disappointed with the movie. Like, The Shining, the movie. There aren't words to describe how bad it is and how not accurate it is. Like, it has nothing uh, to do with the book. Like, it basically doesn't follow anything. There's characters that aren't in the book. There's stuff in the book that aren't in the movie. Like, it's a mess. So, do yourself a favor and read the book. Um, you know, the premise is basically the same, like Danny has some powers that are called The Shining and the Overlook Hotel is haunted, so you get an idea and yeah, it's brutal, it's kind of scary, but it's really good and I actually prefer Dan or Danny in Doctor Sleep because in The Shining is a child and is kind of annoying sometimes, it does childish things as you can expect but it 
it's a great read and it's kind of a classic and if you like horror you have to read this book and I don't think this isn't a surprise for anyone but my favorite Stephen King book is It I think I've mentioned this in some favorites I think in my spring uh, 2018 favorites but I have to mention it again it is a big book I know it is this is so big but it's such a wonderful read it's so worth it all the 1000 pages and more <laughs> but yeah the book is pretty accurate but it only follows like the first part of the story like the child part and I wanted to know what's going to happen when there are adults so I wanted to read the book and I'm so glad I read it because it's so good and it is uh, like I, I think I explained in my other video this is a pretty interesting read because first of all you have like an index in the beginning of the book and the book is structured like you have parts of the, the past, parts of the future, uh, some stories in between other stories that then you see that are connected to what's happening and it's just amazing. I love all the characters and I love the movie and it's one of my favorite movies ever but the book is so good and I actually made my dad read it so yeah I know it's scary 1000 plus pages but you have time you should read it because it's really really good yeah I don't think any other Stephen King book is going to top this one but yeah so guys, these are my favorite Stephen King books, um, if you want me I can update this top uh, in the future or I can just tell you other books from Stephen King that I've been reading, what I've been liking, what I don't like, there's some that I actually don't like, um, and yeah. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!